and alternating current and voltages. Alternating voltages and currents are represented by a sinusoidal wave. The sinusoidal wave is generally referred to as a sine wave. An alternating current waveform is defined as the voltage or current that fluctuates with respect to time periodically with change in polarities and direction. So we represent an alternating wave with a sine wave. This is time, voltage or current at t equals to zero. The voltage starts increasing to the maximum of positive value and starts decreasing to the negative max back to zero. This is a positive value and the negative value. If the direction of current is from A to B in positive half cycle and B to A in negative cycle. The time taken for any wave to complete one full cycle is called period. The period can measure from maximum value to the next maximum value or from zero to zero or negative max to a negative max. Zero crossing of one cycle to zero crossing of the next cycle or positive peak to next positive peak or negative peak to next negative peak. The frequency. The frequency of a wave is defined as the number of cycles that a wave completes in one second. So from here to here, the one cycle, this is two cycles. If this is one second from here to here, then the frequency is equals to two H as time period is half second. Now the relation between F and T is frequency equals to one by the time period. Usually for our Indian standards, the frequency is 50 H then the time period will be 1 by f 1 by 50 which equals to 0 0.02 seconds or 20 milliseconds this is a 20 milliseconds to complete one cycle angular relation of a sine wave a sine wave can be measured along the x-axis and time base which is a frequency dependent as we measured before or a sine wave can be expressed in terms of angular measurement. This angular measurement is expressed in degrees or radians. Voltage or current with this radians, where one radian equals to 57.3 degrees. In degrees, 0 is 90, this is 180, and this is 270, and this is 360 degrees. And in radians, 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi. This time wave completes half cycle in 180 degrees or pi radians, full cycle in 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. Phase of the sine wave. The phase of the sine wave is an angular measurement that specifies the position of the sine wave relating to the reference. This is actual wave of A. In this case, the wave B is starting after pi by 2 or 90 degrees from the starting point of A, which means there is 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians phase shift between A and B. Or we can say B is lagging behind A by 90 degrees or A is leading B by 90 degrees. This is A. This is B. Here, the B is starting before the A by 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians. There is a phase shift again 90 degrees between A and B. B is leading A by 90 degrees or 
pi by 2 or you can say a is lagging b by 90 degrees or pi by 2. The sine wave equation. The sine wave is graphically represented as with a peak of Vm or A. The sine wave is represented with V of T is equals to the maximum value of V multiplied by sine omega T in frequency domain. It states that at any point of the sine wave represented by the instantaneous value, this is instantaneous voltage, is equal to the maximum value times sine of the angular frequency at that point. If Vm is 20, let it be omega t equals to pi by 4, then V of t equals to 20 sine pi by 4, which equals to 20 of pi by 4 is sine 45, which is 1 by root 2, that is 0 0.707, which equals to 14.14 volts, or at 45 degrees, the value is 14.14, if the peak value is 20 volts. Now, when the sine wave is shifted, towards the left by an angle phi let it be then the instantaneous value of vt is given by vm sine omega t plus phi if this sine wave is shifted towards the right by an angle phi then the instantaneous value v of t is given by vm sine omega t minus phi now consider this we have two waves that is A which is having the maximum value of 20 volts and B with the maximum value of 10 volts but this is starting at 0 degrees whereas this is starting at pi by 4 which is nothing but 45 degrees. Then the instantaneous value if we want to find out at 90 degrees which is nothing but pi by 2. Then omega t is equals to pi by 2. Then let us find out instantaneous value for A wave this 20 Vm sine by 2 20 sine pi by 2 or sine 90 which is nothing but 1 so this is 20 volts instantaneous value for b is given by the maximum peak is 10 sine omega t is pi by 2 minus pi by 4 10 sine pi by 4 which is equals to 10 into by root 2 which is 0 0.707 that equals to 7.07 .07 volts different values of a sine wave. As the magnitude of the waveform is not constant, the waveform can be measured in different ways. First one, instantaneous value. We found that by using the formula V of t equals to the maximum value of DC component sine of omega t where we need to find out the instant value plus or minus phi which is lead lag angle. By using this formula, we can find out the instantaneous value. Second value is peak value. So peak value of a sine wave is the maximum value of the wave during the positive half cycle. This is peak value, we can say V peak or the maximum value of negative half cycle, also known as peak value. So peak to peak value. So peak to peak value of a sine wave is the value from positive to the negative peak. This is VP and this is VP, so 2 VP. These are peak to peak value. And fourth one, average value. Average value of any function of V of t with the time period t is given by V average equals to 1 by t 0 to t Vt of dt. That means the average value of a curve xy plane is the total area under the complete curve divided by the distance of the curve. If you take a single cycle we have a positive area and a negative area. If you find the average value, uh, the average value will be zero. That is why the average value of sine wave is defined over half of the cycle and not on the full cycle. So we'll consider up to here. This is pi. Half of the cycle is time period pi zero to pi v m sine omega t d omega t one by pi. V m is a constant. If you integrate sine, you are going to get minus cos omega t 0 and pi vm by pi cos 180 degrees is minus 1 of minus is the plus 1 then cos 0 is the plus 1 then you are going to get 2 vm by pi this is our v average for a sine wave so v average value of a sine wave 
is also equals to v average value of cross wave v average equals to 0 0.637 v ohm or else 63 percent so this is our average value at 0 0.637 of v ohm fifth one root mean square value or rms value or effective value so when a resistor is connected to the dc voltage a certain amount of heat it produces in the resistor in a given time so similarly when you connect a resistor to an ac supply there will be some heat is produced in the resistor in a given time or certain time the value of ac voltage is adjusted such that the same amount of heat is produced in the resistor as in the case of dc source this will be equal when vdc equals to vac at certain voltage value that voltage is known as a root mean square or effective value so that means the rms of a sine wave is equal to the dc voltage that produces the same heat effect in general the rms value of any function with the period t is the effective value and is given by e rms equals to square root of 1 by t integral 0 to t vt square dt we consider the function that v of t is equals to v of sine omega t then v rms equals to 1 by 2 pi the total cycle integral 0 to 2 pi vm square sine square omega t d omega t this is all under the square root vm square by 2 pi 1 minus cos omega t by 2 integral 0 to 2 pi d omega t 1 by 2 vm square by 4 pi omega t minus cos so sine omega t 2 pi 2 0 whole to the power of 1 by 2 now vm square by 4 pi 2 pi plus sine 2 pi minus sine 0 whole to the power of 1 by 2 this value is 0 this value is 0 vm square by 4 pi multiplied by 2 pi 5 pi gets cancelled 2 times it is under the square root so the root mean square value the v or ms equals to vm by root 2 to 0 0.707 vm it is obviously more than average value v or ms equals to 0 0.707 vm if the function consists of number of sinusoidal sort of terms that is vt equals to v naught plus vc1 cos omega t plus vc2 cos omega t and so on plus vs1 sin omega t two times two sin omega t and so on the rms is given by square root of v naught square plus half vc1 square plus vc2 square and so on plus 1 by 2 vs1 square vs2 square and so on this whole thing under the square root next sixth one peak factor peak factor of a waveform is defined as the ratio of peak to rms value peak factor is equals to vm by v rms that is vm by 0 0.707 vm 1.414 and seventh one form factor it depend as ratio of rms to average value then form factor is equals to v rms divided by v average that equals to 0 0.707 vm by 0 0.637 of vm which equals to 1.11 1 